Hey guys, so it's um, a pretty popular topic for artists to talk about what they carry in their pencil cases and while I make no promise that the materials I like to use are going to work for you, um, I thought I would show you what I have. Now my pencil case is um, a pack Bungu by Nomadic and I've had it about four years and when it gets dirty I just rinse it out, wash it out in the sink um, and while it's not as good as new, it's still pretty clean. and. Um, it's a two zipper bag that sort of folds into this little boxy shape. And uh, I have a little Takagi charm from um, Bakuman on it. Okay. So, um,. After I unzip my bag, it folds open kind of like a book, and um, I would never win neatest pencil bag award, but I like this one because it's organized into a few sections. I have the majority of my inking mater materials over here in this side mesh pack pocket. Over here on this um, sort of like leaf, I have my drawing pencils, and then under here, I have my erasing tools. Now, um, I don't recommend this bag one way or the other. It's been a good bag to me, but it's no, by no means a perfect uh, pencil case. But um, it works for me, and it was a little bit expensive, but it's lasted me several years. Now, if you're interested in getting a bag like this, there's several places you can get nomadic bags, um, and I'll list them in the description below. So why don't we go through what I carry in my pencil case? So I have the famed Sailor Mitsuo Ida inking pen. It's a double-sided inking pen. I've talked to you guys about this many, many times. I love this thing. I wish there were other sources to get it. Right now there's only one American source where you can buy them and I'm not 100% hot on them. So, um, you know, I wish there were other places I could get it, but it's the only source. So I guess I'm stuck with them for a while. Um, a Kuratake Fude Gokochi with the regular tip in black ink. And um, you can get these from a few sources. I get mine from Amazon um, sometimes. Uh, I also get mine from the same place I get my Sailor Mitsuo Ida. So I will have descriptions for places you can get all of these um, probably in the accompanying blog post, but I'll also try to link several of them in the description below. So, um, I also kind of carry random miscellanea depending on my mood. So right now I have a gray Fudigo Kochi. I guess I should grab a scrap of paper to show you guys. Yeah, this will work. And these Fude pins are, um, they're kind of brush pins with like um, a rubbery, I think it's like a foam tip. And um, they're traditionally used for signing your name in calligraphy or by um, like Chinese and Japanese calligraphers. But I like using them four inks. So the, uh, these two are pretty much always in my pencil case. This one drifts in and out. Um, now right now I also have a Kuratake number six. Now Kuratake number six has one black large brush, sort of like the Art and Graphic Twin. Actually, the bodies are pretty much identical, except for the writing. Then the other side has an almost as large gray tip. And this is great for fills. Um, it's also great for larger things. It's great for um, doing two-tone illustrations.
Then I also have a little Aluma Cutter, Aluma Color ruler. And actually, this particular one hasn't gotten any use yet. It's sort of like an emergency ruler. I do use their huge rulers um, from my comic pages pretty regularly, but I wanted something that I could slip inside my pencil case just in case I needed a straight edge or I needed to measure something. Now I have some floaters. I have a Recollections um, little fine liner that I use for taking notes. It's kind of like um, Michael's version of the Le Pen. I have a Sharpie fine point, and I love these. I also use this for taking notes. And then I have a, um, a pit pin that has a beautiful color, and it just sort of meandered its way into my pencil case because I've got another one of these in my pit pin collection, so I didn't, I don't need it, and I might end up adding it to, I have like a, a pouch of duplicate supplies and I tend to give them away when people come visit. I'm just like, here, have this, take this. <laughs> um, I could probably hoard them and just have like a spare, but I'd rather they get used by someone else. So that's my inking stuff. Now on the fly leaf, I have um, this big polymatic that was sent to me in my January art snacks and I really like it. It's comfortable to use. It's got B lead in it right now. I have this Faber-Castell mechanical pencil. It has H lead in it, and I got this when I went to um, Toronto for TCAF last year. Then I have this Pilot Color Eno that has non-photo blue lead, and I get my non-photo blue lead from a couple of sources. So check the description, and also keep an eye out for the blog posts because I'm gonna detail all of this. Now, I know I used to use this uh, Pentel Graph Gear 1000, I think I've had it for like seven or eight years. And it's a great pen, they really hold up, a pencil, but they, and they really hold up, but it was tearing up my hand. It got to the point where with conventions, I was drawing so much that it would like literally eat through the skin on my hand. And it was um, making my early onset arthritis even worse. So even though it's a great pen and a lot of people enjoy it, I don't recommend it for sketching. Um, because if you're bearing down, if you tend to be um, heavy handed or bear down, with your pencil, it's going to destroy your hand. Now, I have a couple of mechanical pencils in here that I don't ever use, and um, these were my grandfather's, my mom's father's. Um, he was not an artist or an architect by trade, but he did a lot of work for the parish. Um, I'm from Louisiana, and we call our counties parishes. Um, he did a lot of that kind of stuff for the parish, and my grandmother gave me these, so I carry them in my pencil case right now as sort of like a lucky charm. And I want to get a shadow box and put them up, because I think it's really important to remember your heritage and remember where you came from. And I'm the first dedicated, I mean professional artist in my family. My father drew, I have a lot of memories of him drawing for me, and he enjoyed drawing, and my grandfather drew and did like architectural stuff. Um, but neither of them did it professionally, and I'm, I'm like the weird sport, I'm a comic artist. Uh, so on, under here, I keep spare leads, so B and H, it's uh, Pentel High Polymer. I've tried a variety of other leads. A, a variety of other leads are fine. Um, I find these are easy to find, and they suit my purpose. I also have, it should be in my case, but it's not right now, uh, refill leads for my color Eno, and I try to buy as many of these as possible as I can at any one time. I never just buy one pack because I go through these really quickly. Then I have um, a Prismacolor 0.5, and this really should just live in my purse instead of in my pencil case um, because sometimes I don't want to carry this big thing around with me, so I'll carry just like a couple of inking pins and like a miniature sketchbook, and this belongs to the set that's in my purse. What I actually really like Prisma color. They call them art markers, but they're really like fine liners or technical pens. Um, and lastly, we have erasers. Um, I have two Pentel white vinyl click erasers. I like these a lot. They can get a little bit gummy. They can get a little bit smeary, but they're good for um, quickly erasing moderate sizes. I have um, kind of a tiny mono eraser in my pouch. On my drafting table, I actually have a larger mono eraser. I have several of these floating around my studio at any given time. They're white vinyl, um, and they don't have PVC in them. A few years ago, uh, mono used to make PVC erasers, and those were like the grail. Um, these are not quite as good, but they're also not as detrimental to your health. 
And then finally, I have two mono um, click style erasers. These are good for tiny areas, but if you try to erase too much, it'll like just break the eraser off. Uh, they do create kind of a significant amount of waste. I mean, um, you refill these, so the bodies, I've had these bodies for, I mean, to the point where their text is worn off. Um, uh, I got them when I started grad school at SCAD. I was in grad school for two and a half years. I've been out of grad school for three, five and a half, had these about five and a half years, and I just replaced the erasers inside. So that was a look at what I currently carry in my pencil case. I love watching these sort of videos, so if you do them too, why don't you leave a link in the comments and I'll check yours out. Um, I hope you guys found that useful. I hope uh, it introduced you to a couple of products you might not be fam familiar with. Please check out my blog, natasuit.blogspot.com, because a post about this detailing where I get everything um, is coming up soon. And uh, check the description if you're interested, because I will also list some sources there. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, consider commenting, consider sharing it to your social network, social media, because you sharing my work with other artists really helps me build my audience, and I super appreciate that. That's really awesome of you guys. Um, and if you like content like this, please subscribe to my channel because there is a lot of content like this. This is pretty much what my channel is for. Um, art supply reviews, art supply demonstrations, uh, art tutorials, artist interviews, and um, I'm working on some convention prep and conver convention merchandise tutorials for artists who are interested in tabling at conventions. So if you're interested in that, please keep watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.